Hey, I want to apologize to everybody for me not going live. Um, I got really busy working this weekend. Um, but I was getting a lot of requests for me to um, be a guest speaker at people's groups and um, to tell people about my process to do this uh Stop your eviction. So, after sitting back thinking about this whole journey that I've been on, um, really without my choice, this is something that I had to learn because of the situation that I had found myself in. Um, so, I started from looking into the crediting system and seeing how fraudulent the credit system is. And then I read the Money Mechanics, Modern Money Mechanics book, and it kind of sent me down a rabbit hole. But after learning that we pay for everything when we sign for it, um, I just couldn't, in good conscience, just keep paying rent. So we had a goal to get out of our car and get us an apartment. And the goal was to get into the apartment, pay the rent for two months, and then start a process an administrative process. So we did that. And it worked. At first, my husband was really put off by me gambling with the fact that we could possibly be homeless again. But when you know what you know, it don't matter how many people tell you it's not going to work. It don't matter how many people call you stupid or a scammer. It don't matter how many people tell you you're just a lazy person that don't want to pay your rent. It don't matter. It's up to you. If you want to keep being a slave, then that's on you. But I, I was born knowing that I'm not doing shit. I'm not working for nobody. I'm not paying nobody shit. And if y'all really watch my YouTube channel, you can go back five years and I've always said the same fucking thing. And that was way before I learned all of this. Um, I can give y'all breadcrumbs and puzzle pieces for y'all to go and look up what you need to look up. But I'm not telling nobody for free what I did, the procedure that I did. I'm not doing that. For the last five years, I've given y'all nothing but free information of all my experience. I've, I've taken y'all literally with me and my camera to all of the things that I experienced. Um, I've taught y'all about the spirit world, the financial system. I taught y'all the strategy in seven days. And most people don't give a shit about my strategy or the seven days. So... If you don't care about what my plan is to to get all the, the men out of prison so that we can get back on track, um, that's cool. I can have my agendas and you can have yours, but I'm not I'm not just helping y'all no more for free. So I can't do none of your your classes and and give uh, people my process for free. I'm not doing that, but I did post. Last week on my social medias that I will be doing a class on the proper way to get out of your eviction. What papers to file and which process to do. I will tell you all of that. But my class is $150 and it's going to be February the 11th. At 2.11 p.m. Mountain Time. I felt like I had to do a video about this because 
I've never received so many telegram messages or social media messages in years. So I can't respond to everybody and I'm not answering my phone because I'm working this weekend. So this is this is how I feel about this. But I will tell y'all this. To stop any legal matter, period, all you have to do is challenge jurisdiction. There are no real judges except for the Supreme Court judges. So if your landlord is willing to take you to the Supreme Court to sue you in eviction court, so be it. But as far as the county court, district court, and federal court, none of them judges have the legal right to make any kind of ruling over you because they're all all foreign entities. They are all foreign entities. I believe that um, if you go to martindale.com and you put your judge name in there, he'll come up with a ISLN number, I believe it's called. And that's basically a international immigration identification number. So... Putin couldn't come over here and sit on the bench and tell me what to do. So neither can the judges that's in American court unless they're Supreme Court judge. So if you go straight in with your answer and you say you are challenging the jurisdiction to make sure that the the court that your this claim is being brought to you is in the proper jurisdiction. Nip that shit in the bud before it starts. But you got to do that when it's in the time frame of you filing your answer. Okay. Um, so you want to challenge jurisdiction. You also want to challenge the lease. You don't want them to let the lease get entered into the court paperwork. Because that's you signing something. So if you can do whatever you can do to get them to suppress that lease, that's important. Um, you're going to have to research. You're going to have to read. Okay, if for you to understand money and how these applications work, you might want to go to the Federal Reserve, um, Federal Reserve Board, Federal Reserve. Okay, just look up Federal Reserve sixteen, and then read one through the rest of the numbers, and it'll explain to you the application system. So you want to challenge the jurisdiction, you want to challenge the lease. Um, if it's being brought to you, brought to court by a lawyer and or property manager, um, neither one of them were harmed by you, so they can't bring a claim against you. You're going to have to look into these laws. You're going to have to look into the um, Uniform Commercial Codes so that you can understand this stuff. So... The personal jurisdiction of the judge, challenging the lease, challenging the person bringing the suit. All of these you can do and get out of your eviction with no problem. You just got to file it as soon as you get, as soon as you get the paperwork, file these things. Um, my class is going to be more in detail. I'm going to tell you all which forms to put in and how to get around them if they try to get a default judgment against you. Um, because they will. I'm going to teach you how to fuck with the court system, the clerks, and a judge, make them scared. I'll teach you how to have the lawyer trying to sue you, call you and ask you to help him do it. All of this comes from me not giving up on myself. Even my husband doubted me. My husband had my kids thinking we was going to be homeless again because he did not believe that I was going to pull this shit off. And I had to say to my baby, you have to always believe in yourself. No matter what everybody else say to you or say about you behind your back, you always got to believe in yourself. 
And I know that what the courts are doing is illegal. It's racketeering. It's a crime. It's judicial misconduct. And I have proof that the clerks and the judges are in on it. They are working with the corporations to hurt us. Um, I have recordings for days of judges lying, clerks lying. I record everything. So just remember that if you ever want to try to set me up or, or play me or steal from me. I record everything. So when we got the letter in the mail, I mean the email from the lawyer, um, my husband said, babe, read this. And I was like, no, he didn't. So my husband is so happy, like, oh my God, I can't believe that shit really worked. He said the same thing about the child support that we got dropped. I guess every time you have a process that that works, you're not going to um, believe it. <laughs> Even when it happens, you're going to be like, how is that possible? I walked into the clerk's office to check that shit to see if this shit is real. And she said, yeah, your case has been dismissed, closed, 